Hello, welcome back to the studio. I am Scott McKenzie Ceramics. If you haven't noticed at all, it's been a really, really, really long time since I've posted a video. I think probably about a year. Life happened and I just could not get into the studio, but I'm back. I am going to try to put out a video at least once a month, mostly for my mental health. That goal will get me into the studio and will get my hands on clay and uh, this is a type of therapeutic activity for myself. So this is a good goal for me, but I also just have a really fun time creating and coming up with different things to sculpt. So I hope you enjoy. Something that I forgot to mention before I started working on the project was to say I am going to build the actual coronavirus. I think how I am going to start it off is I might make half of the circle and then go ahead and make the other half and then whenever the two halves actually uh, start to firm up I'll put them together and then, you know compress the clay around to make a complete circle or sphere so I'm gonna start making the first half and then um, I'll see how that looks So here is the first half of the sphere. It's already pretty firm, so I feel pretty confident that if I make the other half and then stick them together that they're not gonna collapse on each other. I'm sure it's gonna work, you know, cross our fingers. But I am gonna start on the second half. Okay, so here's what the second half looks like. And I have the other one right here. And so basically, if you can imagine, whenever these get really firm, I'm gonna put this one on its upside down and then stick this one on top and then seal it together to make a complete circle. But now that both of the halves of the sphere are finished, I'm gonna wait for those to firm up. And um, as I'm waiting for those to firm up, I'm going to, there's a car. As I wait for those to firm up, I am going to make the little spiky things that are poking out of the virus. I'm honestly not really sure what they are. To just duplicate what the coronavirus looks like, I'm just gonna make a bunch of those and then stick them on later. So I'm gonna start sculpting those little spiky things right now and then allow the two halves of the sphere to um, harden up. all of the spiky things are finished being built I am gonna start compressing the two halves of the sphere together to make the ball which will 
then be the base of the coronavirus. I will basically do this by putting the halves together and then uh, smearing the clay on both of the halves together, making sure I compress it really well so that it stays um, together and then it also doesn't crack whenever I put it in the kiln. Now that the ball is made, I need to start poking holes um, for two reasons. One, it the coronavirus actually has these like little holes and specks in them. And um, later on, whenever I go to paint the virus, allow the coronavirus to look like there's some depth. So the first reason is just aesthetic purposes and then the second is i need to actually put holes in the virus so that um, whenever i do stick it into the kiln it's not going to explode on me um, so essentially if you put a ball in the kiln and it gets to like 2000 degrees and there's no way for air to escape you're basically making a bomb i don't want to do that i want to make sure that it doesn't explode so i need to make sure i'm putting um, a bunch of holes in there. The coronavirus is already dry and it is ready to go into the kiln so I'm going to go ahead and go put it into the kiln and it's going to uh, bake overnight and then it'll be ready tomorrow sometime probably in the afternoon. This is what the base of the coronavirus looks like after it was put in the kiln. Um, as you can see, it kind of took on this like orangey color. Um, I finished um, poking all the different holes in it. And what I'm about to do right now is I'm about to paint it white and then give it kind of this black water brush um, look over that just to kind of give it some depth. But that's what you're about to see right now. <laughs> the little spiky things that are going to come out of the coronavirus. Um, I am going to start painting them red and then um, once they're all painted red I'll start sticking them on the actual ball of the virus. So that's what I'm about to do next. <laughs> I stuck these little balls of epoxy 
on the ball itself. If you look at a picture of what the coronavirus looks like, there's like these like orange and greenish specks on there. So I'm just duplicating that. Um, again, I have no idea what its purpose is, but um, so I'm gonna start painting those for sure orange and then green. The picture that I saw, the little specks were orange and like this lime greenish color. I don't have a yellow, so I'm going to just paint it green. That is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making the coronavirus. I just wanna take this time to thank all of the essential workers that have been working through this crazy time. I wanna thank all of the healthcare workers that are on the front lines. You are truly the heroes during this time. Uh, again, thank you so much. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, be creative and stay dirty. I'll see you next time.